Hey, man, say, man, catch this game, cuz. This y'all big brother. Y'all favorite hood partner, big Nina boy, man. Hey, catch this game, tell nigga, right? Um, you niggas gotta learn how to manage your emotions, bro. I'm talking about, nigga, when you, when you in the streets, nigga, you know what I'm saying? And you niggas out here fucking on different females, you playing the game. It's all good when she giving you the coochie and all that shit, and she submissive. But once she gets you to give her your everything, and she start cheating on you, doing shit that you wasn't expecting her to do because you believed everything she say. Oh, man, you'll lose yourself, homie. This is how some of you niggas break down. And, 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 and. So you got to realize the impact that women have on men, bro. You see what I'm saying? They got power, bro. I'm talking about because you don't know when they're going to infiltrate your feelings. You see what I'm saying? You don't know when they go, nigga, nigga, 86 you. Nigga, you don't know, nigga, if they pump faking like, you know, you got to stop giving women your everything, bro. I'm going to just tell y'all that right now. Learn how to manage your emotions, bro. You got to learn how to manage and be accountable for the game that you play. Because any woman could come and, and you know, and be, you know, present that feminine side of her and be submissive and sucking you dry, nigga, fucking you. Yes, sir. Listen to everything. You just feel like you got it in the bag. Like as if the nigga the next day, she a light switch can't come on and nigga, she just start dog walking you. See, the problem is a lot of you niggas is getting too comfortable. You, you smell what I'm selling, though? Um, how toxic woman be hurting you niggas because you niggas uh, get hurt and then it makes you, it, it, it's a chemical unbalance where it's like now you stuck because she don't see you as that same person that as she seen you as because, nigga, she's looking at you how you handled that situation. You see what I'm saying, nigga? You over there talking about, bitch, I'll kill you, bitch. Are you over here giving my pussy away? Are you dirty ass? And you still fucking with her. You just want to hit that shit one last time. And that one last time, nigga, is going to make you even more sprung and wrapped around her mother. Now your ass is calling her phone a thousand times, pulling up to her house. You know what I'm saying? Calling her cousin, telling her cousin how she treating you wrong. You can't tell your homeboys because it's going to look weak. Listen, homie. Um, That's why y'all big brother here to help y'all and guide y'all on how to really understand how this game is played, bro. You see what I'm saying? Some of y'all niggas, see, when y'all go through these situations, y'all niggas will drop that shit on the floor and walk right past that shit and not realizing that, nigga, you forgot how you felt the last time you went through something like that. Um, it's crazy how a man will break down over a woman, you know, and give her, because he gave her everything. It's crazy how men break down over a, 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 a female that he trusted with his heart and then, you know, and gave her everything. Money was dependable, reliable, and all that shit. And then she just realized she, she found something else better. Or you show, you know, see, women want you to be this certain type of way and then you be that way, then they no longer want you niggas no more. And then you mad because you have submitted to her. You gave her everything she asked for you was what she wanted at that time and now she no longer wants you. You see what I'm saying? And see, women not going to feel bad because you acting emotional, nigga, because she feel like you shouldn't let her have that type of advantage on you in the first place. Listen to me. See, women, they clown with their homegirls about how they be dogging niggas out. Like, bitch, I got that nigga over there sprung. That nigga ain't going nowhere. And, you know, her homegirl like, bitch, you better stop. That's a good nigga. She's like, so what, bitch? I got a whole nother nigga that's way better than that nigga. More money, bigger dick. So if that nigga walk away, okay, cool. So what? Fuck him. You see what I'm saying? And women will dog you out when they find somebody better. See, when you get that female, homie, you got to stay on your game. Never get comfortable with a woman. Because the moment you get comfortable, she lose respect for you. Listen to me, homie. I can't make this type of game up, my nigga, because she know you. She know everything about you at this point. Nigga, that, 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 that persona that you had in the beginning... She knew that was just a that was just a a, a stage. You know what I'm saying? Because once you got comfortable, she, babe, hold my purse. I'm about to run in the store. You sit up there. No, don't sit there down. That purse costs too much. Yeah, nigga. Now all of a sudden, nigga, she got you holding her purse. Hold my hand, baby. Now you hold her hand in public. Public affection. Men should never give public affection when you know that you live in a street life. A street life, man, that is a sign of weakness. A lot of niggas can contest different. But when you showing uh, public affection in the streets and your ops see you in your feminine stage, because that's feminine shit. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing masculine about holding a woman's hand in public. 
You see what I'm saying? You niggas is niggas sitting on the bench holding hands, tongue kissing, and eating ice cream and shit. Yeah, nigga, that give your enemy, nigga, your op, nigga, opportunity to go ahead and knock your block off. You can't you can't show public affection in the streets, bro. That's that's part of the game, man. You niggas is doing that shit, homie. Listen. Your girl don't give a fuck about your gangsterism. Yeah, nigga. She yeah, she don't give a fuck about nigga but who you are in the street, nigga. She only care about what she want. Women can be selfish when it comes to their emotions. So you gotta understand, homie, public affection will will soften some of you niggas. You don't understand that the impact that women have on a man. You see what I'm saying? Their goal is to 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 only want and desire what they care for. They see, it, it, you know how they say, nigga, it's a happy wife, a happy life. Like if she's happy, your life is happy. That means that you have to eliminate your self happiness out the equation just so you can have a a, a non toxic or, or or you know a, a decent type of relationship. And that's not cool, homie. Um, you know when when you know when men hurt, they hurt to the core. Like when niggas when when men get hurt. Men hurt to the core. They feel it in the core of them because of they was betrayed. They gave something that they normally wouldn't give to a woman, and she broke that trust. And she no longer wants them after she know everything about them. You see what I'm saying? You got to remain a mystery because when a woman hurt a man, they hurt you to the core of your stomach and make you niggas sick. You hurt different. Women could cry, hurt, cry, and get over that shit tomorrow and be sucking and fucking on somebody else. But a man, when a man get hurt, uh, his, it's a chemical imbalance to his brain. You see what I'm saying? Where he, he has anger. He has, and then, it, you know, he, he play games with the next one but because he don't want to get hurt again. And then once he get in, he get hurts again because you don't play the game. See, in order for this man and woman thing to work, you have to play the game. It's tug of war. Whoever... Draws in first, submits. You see what I'm saying? It's tug of war. Whoever give in first loses the war. It's always going to be a war between this man and woman thing. Yeah, you. It's, it's a very small percentage of women like, nah, I ain't playing. I just want me a good nigga that's going to stay by my side and be loyal. You're not finding that no more. Social media have taken away the integrity, the morals of any relationship. Women are not in relationships. They're dating. they like, nah, I don't want a relationship. Why? When I can talk to him, I can go out with him. I could take trips with him, and that way I don't gotta be cheating. I don't wanna, I don't have to hurt nobody's feelings. See, dating is the new thing, and uh, if I, I, it's my body. I give my body whoever I want to. And a lot of times, you niggas don't understand that that woman is out there fucking multiple people. She has a desire. She has an appetite for, for you know, you know, you might be good with your mental. You know what I'm saying? Or you might be good with making her laugh. But this nigga over here, nigga, is knocking her vagina to the motherfucking wall, though. You see what I'm saying? And she liked the way he bang her shit out. This nigga might ear pussy good. And, and she like, he, he he always like, bitch, you want to argue or you trying to get your pussy ate? Man, what? That's some free head for this bitch. You know what I'm saying? You ain't eating pussy. So that other nigga is definitely going to eat her pussy. You smell what I'm selling? So don't get this shit confused, bro. Yeah, nigga. That nigga probably over there sucking her dry. Nigga, I'm talking about nigga. Nigga. Nigga cleaning her motherfucking carpet, nigga. You see what I'm saying, nigga? Nigga let her come all in this motherfucking mild tongue, all in her in her chili bowl and all that shit, nigga. Slurping her up, nigga. And she zip up her pants, thank you, and you know what I'm saying. And she, hey, you ain't gonna let me. So, ah, you just said you want to do my pussy, thank you. And that nigga cool with that, you know what I'm saying? He seen it, he got the finger in and lick it, and she came and got her little, you know, her little session in. You know what I'm saying? She gone. He ain't even fuck. You see what I'm saying? Because she didn't want to waste her fuck on a nigga that can't fuck, so she just took the head. Yeah, man. I'm t Yeah, man. Listen, homie. The sooner you niggas accept the truth, the more powerful you will become. You know? Um, you got to get your power back, man. You see what I'm saying? You got to stop seeing me, man. I can't give a woman my... I, I, you can't be, you know, my priority. You know what I'm saying? When I have a purpose. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not going for that shit. I think every man in been hurt before and been in all that shit, but once you learn how to manage, it, I mean, to manage your emotions, man, I'm telling you, you become a powerful nigga, man. Nah, bitch, I don't give a fuck about your pussy, bitch. I'm not Brandy. I'm not trying to be down. Keep your motherfucking pussy. You know what I'm saying, bitch? I, I can't get no money with you, bitch. And what are we talking about? You see what I'm saying? Because you got to understand nowadays, nigga, you got some of these women like, oh, nigga, if you like me, nigga, you, you should be spending on me. Like, bitch, nigga, time is free. You see what I'm saying? All these whole time, all these one quality time, bitch. A walk in a park is free. 
You see what I'm saying, bitch? A nigga, uh, a nigga gotta give you some money if he like you, bitch. You out here, nigga, uh, soft prostituting. You know what I'm saying, bitch? You're like, yeah. See, let me tell you something about women. See, women make rules for the niggas they don't like. And women break rules for the niggas they really do. How toxic women hurt men and the impact they got. You better pay attention. And that's my time, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know if y'all banging with me. Let's go.